Now let's go ahead and take a look at our LP housing. Here in the front of the camper, we have an LP housing. One thing we do is we install a six inch deck port. This is just for easier access so that you can just spin the deck port, removing it and giving you access to the inside of the housing to get to your tanks. You can reach in and turn the LP regulator on uh, one side or the other, uh, turn the tanks on as well. Now, so we can get a better look, I'm gonna go ahead and take this cover off. You've got a latch on each side of the lid. Once those latches are removed, you'll just pick the lid up, slide it off to the side. Now here on the inside, we've got two 30 pound LP tanks. This is an option. Uh, all of them come standard with 20 pound tanks. Uh, if you do a lot of boondocking, I would recommend getting the 30 pound tanks. But here they're attached to a single regulator. It is an automatic switch over. So what you would do is just turn, select whichever tank that you want uh, the regulator to pull from, open that tank. If both tanks are open, the regulator will automatically switch and pull from the secondary tank once the primary tank has been drained. Now, the lever will not move. Uh, that's just a manual operation. The, the automatic feature is built into the inside of that. Now, you will notice uh, a little gauge on the front of this regulator. Right now, it's red because we've got our tanks turned off. When you turn the tank on and this line is pressurized and the regulator sees that gas, it will go ahead and turn green. So that's an indication that you can utilize to come out, check and see if you've got uh, propane or if you don't. Now granted, um, once you come out and it's red, then you're already out of propane. Now we do have an upgrade option that you can purchase. Uh, it's actually Alpine, uh, LP tank sensors that are mounted to the bottom uh, that basically just gauge the weight of the tank and then will report to your cell phone via Bluetooth so that way you can actually see as it's depleted. Let's go ahead and set this cover back on. When you set the cover on, you'll notice the bracket mounting at the rear on the body of the camper. We're gonna to wanna to slide the LP cover in, but make sure that you do get it to set properly on that bracket. Once it's set on the bracket, then we just simply go ahead and place the latches back into their place. You wanna be careful with the deck ports because you can, if you get in a hurry, cross thread, which is not a good thing. So just a little bit of patience for that. Here on this model, we have our front LP Quick Connect. This is a low pressure system. So whatever components or appliance that you hook to this must be rated uh, to, to be used with the low pressure system. The appliance cannot have its own regulator as the propane is already being regulated by the, the one that's on board. You'd simply pull the little plug out, attach the piece, and there is a little locking mechanism. Uh, once it's locked on, then it'll allow the gas to flow into that appliance for you. Now here on the other side, we do have another rear LP quick connect. This is an optional feature, uh, so you would have to ask for this. It works the same as the one on the front of the camper as well. 